Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check it out how to make the spiral vortex in Illustrator. Also, if you want to learn how to make all these videos here in these examples and push your skills to the next level, I launched my Patreon page where I uploaded a bunch of these advanced tutorials. If you want to check them out, you can click the link in the description and access Patreon premium content, where you can access a bunch of high quality images and tutorials. Step number one, click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill and select the color. I'm going to go with black and we're going to go and select the ellipse tool. Press and hold shift plus alt create a little circle and I'm going to put it here, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, also press shift to isolate, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down to create a little circle there, select both, go to object, blend and click on make. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to select the circle again, make sure to swap it from fill to stroke. I'm going to press and hold shift plus alt and create a circle. I'm going to select the direct selection tool and select these two anchor points here, press on delete. I'm going to press and hold shift, scale it and now select both, go to object, blend and replace spine. Now I also want some distance in between these circles. So I got to go and double click on the blend tool, select specify steps and decrease the number of the circles. I got to go with 18, click OK. I got to go and select the rectangle, which is here, click on the stroke select a color and press and hold shift go here to this little circle where basically they intersect at this anchor point and press and hold shift and create a rectangle until to the other side of the big circle in the center of the circle where basically they intersect like that i'm gonna put it here and i'm gonna select the dots press and hold alt drag it so it's going to create a new copy, press and hold shift, rotate it 180 degrees. And as you can see, it has this bounding box. The right top edge of this bounding box needs to connect with this rectangle bottom left edge. So I'm going to pull the dots and let's see the guidelines, how they're going to arrange. So check this out. The guideline is showing that we're perfectly in the center. Great. I'm going to delete the rectangle, select both shapes, press control C and then control F, or you can go to edit and paste in front. This way is gonna create another copy on the front. Press and hold shift, rotate it 90 degrees, select all of them and press control G. And this way is gonna group. And let's go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. I'm gonna go here to the copies. I'm gonna increase it some around, I don't know, 40, 50. And I'm gonna decrease the horizontal and also the vertical to 93 by 93. So as you can see, it has some distance in between the circles and I'm gonna decrease the angle or you can decrease it or increase it. In my case, I'm gonna need to decrease it. On minus seven, it should do the job. Click okay. And this is how you make the spiral vortex in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.